Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to uh, show you how to fix this types of error message and format of the initialization string does not conform to specifications uh, starting at index 80. I mean to say that this types of error message is actually happen in the package manager console uh, during the migration or during the update uh, database. Okay. So first of all, to check your connection string properly. So your connection string is looking like that, your default connection and that is server is local db, ms sql local db, ms sql local db. Properly check uh, your connection string. Database is sample identity db and trusted connection is true and multiple active result set is also true. So must to set its uh, actually error is here, multiple active result set is true. So must to check properly your connection string. In, in your connection string, have an error message so just after that you can resolve the errors now after that i want to update your database and properly uh, update your database properly so you can see your database is not uh, you can see uh, again i got an error message keyword not supported multiple active result set okay so you you know you notice that multiple active result sets it's a keyword is true okay so again just i got it and uh, just update again database so yeah it's everything is fine and your database is created right now okay so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos